Reliability is one of the most important attributes when you buy a new car. Nobody wants a vehicle that you turn the key a week later and it won't start. Consumers Reports has compiled a list of 10 of the most reliable vehicles for 2024, but I'm gonna call that out because I truly believe that some of those vehicles shouldn't be on that list. Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. Now remembering, all these vehicles on this list are the most reliable. With that said, we're just gonna start with the lowest and least reliable one and work our way to the best, most desirable and most reliable vehicle as per consumers reports. Now, this vehicle here, what we're looking at here clearly is a Toyota. Not all Toyotas are built the same and things have changed in the last couple of years. The Toyota stepped into this 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine and there's juries out yet on whether those are going to be reliable as some of the outgoing drivetrains. The two and a half liter naturally aspirated engine, four cylinder is both bulletproof with 200 base horsepower as well as the v6 three and a half liter absolutely a workhorse and a staple in toyota's reliability bucket but here we have what is number 10 working our way best has 75 out of 100 approval pretty standard headlights for toyota you get the standard grill big t on there for toyota lots of great details and accents you got one touch access in on the front as well as the back and of course, what's beautiful about these is their third row seats in these vehicles. So you don't just have the front, the middle, you also have the back seats available. So it hauls a lot of people around. This one here is an XLE all wheel drive and we're talking about the Highlander specifically. Now the Highlander in general is a very reliable vehicle, but the one that makes the list for top pops is the version that's actually hybrid. Because when you get the standard Highlander like this, you basically get yourself a 265 horsepower turbo 2.4. And like we said, it's new to the game. Reliability is still up in the air. The hybrid actually offers you something a little bit different. Yes, it gives you the old school 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. And that's coupled up with the CVT, which is Toyota specialty, as well as hybrid action, which is also their specialty. So you get the hybrid technology CVT, which normally isn't that reliable when Jatco's and Nissan get their hands on it or even Honda's but when Toyota does it they get it done right and the hybrid action with the 2.5 liter four-cylinder means that the Toyota Highlander hybrid is one of the most approved the next one on the list is actually this rig right behind me here it gains a 77 out of 100 in terms of overall ratings and reliability that customers seem to like and they trust this brand we see another Toyota I know it's starting to get old but Toyota seems to know what to do when it comes to building a reliable vehicle this one here is clearly their smaller little vehicle and unfortunately it's not all that exciting to drive but people buy it because they know what it delivers reliable transportation yes with the base engine you can get a two liter 169 horsepower strapped together with that aggressive fire breathing cvt transmission <laughs> just kidding but anyway yes it makes decent enough performance zero to 68 seconds that's a little leisurely and of course you do get 41 miles per gallon now of course as you can see with this car here this one took a little bit of a hit unfortunately but as you can also see, it's a relatively safe vehicle. You've got curtain airbags all the way on the sides and the back. And clearly it's a vehicle that's relatively safe and likely these people walked away relatively unhurt. So the beauty is the Toyota Corolla is one of those that does rank very highly by consumers reports, but ah, skid that. I actually have another theory. I personally think this vehicle, in my opinion, doesn't rank as high. I've had lots of encounters with people now buying Mazda. We all notice Mazda has been elevated to higher levels too in previous years. They've even outcome and outbeat brands, for example, like Honda's. And now, of course, vehicles like this are a little sluggish, a little slow, and they're not unreliable. But have you seen Mazda 3s lately? Very reliable. They rank extremely highly. You get a six-speed automatic transmission, which is arguably less maintenance and more reliable than a CVT. And on top of it, you can also get a two and a half liter naturally aspirated four or a turbocharged four, whopping out significant amount of performance in the upper scale. So personally, I believe the Corolla is an amazing vehicle that offers great levels of reliability, but I would put a brand new Mazda 3 up against a Corolla any day. The next vehicle on the list of Consumers Reports most reliable vehicles for 2024 is this little hot rod right here. What do we have? It's a gorgeous little Acura, as you see right there with the big A on the front. Yeah, people are loving these vehicles. They're very reliable. It's a Honda brand, upscale Honda. So who doesn't love that? It does come with a two liter four cylinder engine under the hood there, 
and it makes a whopping 272 horsepower so it makes good performance it's also made it up to a 10 speed that's not five but 10 speed automatic transmission on these vehicles yes you get some great detail like this i love the a spec factor right there of course look at the big exhaust tips you don't get many like that anymore that's the real deal rdx shh it's all-wheel drive and yeah it's a gorgeous looking unit look at the sight lines down here it's amazing love these handles they're sort of old school and look you get a sunroof on top beautiful fold away mirrors gunmetal gray rims and a gorgeous looking front nose love these headlights and look great details and vents on this little hot rod yes this manages to squat out an 80 out of 100 in terms of overall reliability and customer satisfaction so it's an easy buy it's fun it's peppy it's not the quickest vehicle on the road but at mid 20s mile per gallon fuel consumption and a reliability on par with a honda you can't go wrong with an acura rdx like this okay believe it or not i am not sponsored at all by toyota but this is, can't help but share another toyota on the list we're looking at right here this unit here is a class favorite it's one of those vehicles that people hand down from generation to generation to generation is probably good for three to four hundred thousand miles if you take care of it do your oil services but it's a basic tried and true drivetrain and what do we have here yeah they have great headlights on there and look at toyota as we can see it's a gorgeous looking unit as we go down you have lots of protective plastics there and protection around the wheel wells of course you have these beautiful alloy wheels gorgeous little mirrors and of course you can put a roof rack on top you get sunroof on top as well circle around and you have some great detail look at this gorgeous little unit this one here is an xle all-wheel drive and yeah you can even tow some small packages with this this is a rav4 now what we have is a two plus three and of course lots of space in the back they last forever people trust them and of course consumers reports reflect that this holds 80 out of 100 in terms of overall rating makes it one of the most reliable vehicles on the planet in 2024. And a big part of the reason that this vehicle gets such great ratings is because they keep doing what they know. And that's use the same old tried and true drivetrains. These have that 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. You can also get a hybrid, but it's this base version that couples up to an eight speed automatic transmission that is tried and true, makes about 200 horsepower, delivers 35 miles per gallon or 32 in the adventure version. But this vehicle is easy on the pocketbook, cheap to buy, cheap to maintain, and will last literally forever. There's the next vehicle on the list and it actually ranks by consumers reports at about 82 out of 100 for customer satisfaction and reliability and what we're looking at here is clearly a subaru but i want to talk about that because i truly don't believe this vehicle belongs on this list in my personal opinion everybody's got their own theories about that but let's take a quick look and i'll explain clearly it's not necessarily the most attractive looking vehicle but people like them and this is a big part of the selling feature they're very upright you can throw a lot of junk in the trunk of course a lot of people love that capability this is a subaru and we're talking about a forester this one's an xt as you see right here you do have these interesting rear tail lights and of course it is quite a different looking unit you do get some chrome handles on there and a very basic interior that feels extremely spartan and plasticky then of course you cycle around and you see hood scoops has a little bit of a sporty touch to it it has a lot of space upright lots of room for taller drivers and riders and definitely throw your dog and your junk in the trunk but the reason i don't believe this vehicle belongs in this list is simple it's not all that reliable yes it's reliable from a it doesn't break that often but if you like check engine lights if you like the cvt transmission that's very buzzy and lurchy and it tends to get a little sloppy and sluggish it's not the best transmission ever made i'll be quite frank and that's what these are equipped with not only that most subarus for some reason a lot of the flat six engines the flat four cylinder engines often consume oil like it's going out of style check engine lights a few electrical gremlins along the way and for a vehicle of this level of simplicity and basic bare bones it just doesn't have the reliability that I believe should be on this list. I don't think, in my own opinion, should not be here. I've known people that have bought one of these Foresters and six months in, they blew an engine trying to make a pass of a mountain pass. I mean, they're basic and they're simple. And yeah, when they break, they're actually relatively cheap to fix, but they're not that great of a vehicle. And quite frankly, I'd personally put any day, even though the CRV isn't necessarily the most reliable vehicle either, with that 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder engine, 
it is certainly heads and tails above this for style, performance, and overall durability. I would take the Honda CRV over a Subaru Forester. And believe it or not, next in line, Consumers Reports ranks this little rig right here at 82 out of 100. So it ranks actually quite highly in terms of overall reliability. And we all know that BMW has been moving up the ranks. As a matter of fact, Consumers Reports have been ranking BMW better than most Hondas in the last couple of years. Hondas have been having problems with oil and fuel dilution in their 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder engines. They've also had some hybrid issues and specifically their CVT transmissions. Honda has not been short of problems these days where BMW has been tightening up some of the repair issues. And this car here, or this SUV, is one of those that makes the rank of one of the most reliable vehicles that consumers reports. But this is where I have a problem with this because I don't necessarily totally agree. I'll be the first to admit, I love the engine that you get in some of these BMWs. Now this is a BMW X5, as you can see. Let's take a walk around, I'll explain. Of course, you have those big, beautiful blue headlights. Of course, that is the laser LEDs right there. Beautiful front grills on there. Look, you have those open grills that open and close depending on the cooling needs. Of course, you have gorgeous wheels on all BMWs these days, little vents, beautiful fold-away mirrors, and lots of sunroof on top for all the happy customers that they get all of the light and illumination in the cabin that they could possibly dream of. But I've spoken about this before as well. The X5 is a great mid-size SUV and would I own one? Probably, I have already owned one, the diesel, and it became problematic of about 220,000 kilometers. But this engine and these ones here are actually much, much better. Now, this comes with a caveat. I'd say stay away from the general diesels, too much complexity in the emission systems, and as well, stay away from the N63. See, that's not a caveat that people are talking about in consumers reports they're not saying anything about the twin turbo v8 that 4.4 that has all kinds of heating issues and even though they're improved over the first and second generations of that engine they don't necessarily come without high expenses so that's why it's the b58 which is the single turbo twin scroll inline six three liter engine that is the hot rod. It's called the B58. It's a wonderful piece. They're putting that in the new Toyota Supra. They're putting it in the three, four series, five series, X5s, you name it. Almost most of their vehicles come with that engine. But if you want an SUV, I would put argument dollars to donuts that you're gonna have much better luck and success with the X3, which is the slightly smaller version of this. It has the same drivetrain, but this has more complexity, more equipment. And of course, a lot of these come with the air leveling suspension right over here, where when these airbags let go here, this vehicle starts to sort of settle down. And then those airbags, if you have to replace them, a pair of them could cost you a couple grand. The air compressor on the other side, let's go. That's going to cost you some money as well. And nobody's talking about that. But on the X3, that equipment generally does not exist. But it has the same great engine and that 8-speed ZF automatic transmission. That's absolutely bulletproof. So BMW's done some great things, yes, in terms of overall reliability, but I would say the X3 would rank higher than the X5 in terms of reliability. Now, if you're saying customer satisfaction, sure, within warranty period, most people are probably gonna be more satisfied with this. It's bigger, it's more interesting, it's gonna ride better, it's just gonna feel more substantial, and that's why I truly believe that's also a combination of not just reliability as well as customer satisfaction. So the BMW X5, eh, maybe the X3 instead. And here's another one that makes the grade for one of the most desirable, most reliable vehicles on Consumers Reports list, and it's clearly a Lexus, as you see right here. Not all Lexuses are treated the same, and while they're all very reliable, this one takes the top grade. At 84 out of 100, consumers love this particular vehicle. It gets top-notch grades. It's not the most powerful, most swift, and most aggressive vehicle on the market, but it does bring a lot of great detail and elements to the table, and a lot of people just love it for that. It's simplicity, it's luxury appointments, the reliability of the brand, and yet, you don't necessarily have to break the bank. Let's take a look. I mean, it's a good looking vehicle. Obviously, we have the laser cut wheels right, right there, and this is a hybrid, and that's what I'm talking about. You get a four cylinder engine with this, and on top of the four cylinder, they give you a hybrid drivetrain combined output of about 181 horsepower. On top of that, of course, it's a CVT transmission, which isn't the most sporty. It's a little buzzy, but be honest, it works in Toyota for sure, and Lexus definitely know how to build a CVT transmission more than anyone else. Of course, there we have Lexus. You can see the big blue logo means it's a hybrid of course great detail like this i love the vents right there and those headlights are amazing laser cut rims great plastic look lc 500 mirrors and look you even get yourself 
a big sunroof on top. Well, this section looks a little bit awkward. As you can see, we have this sort of rounded off and it kind of squares off here. It's a little bit strange right there. And of course, love this rear tail lights, very unique. And of course the light bar across the back makes things quite interesting on this Lexus UX 250H. Any Lexus is always a safe bet. It's like any Toyota very few are gonna let you down. Now with this new 2.4 liter turbo engine and the 3.4 liter turbo V6, it's hard to say what time will tell what those reliability will be long-term, but as it stands currently today, reliability in Toyota and Lexus all go hand in hand. And the next two in a row we're talking, they're basically the same car. So the third spot from the best is this car right here. We're looking at it, it's a Toyota Camry, but it's actually the regular Camry, like the one we're looking at right here. Gets about 86 points out of 100, making it one of the best, most reliable and well-trusted vehicles. This one's the SE all-wheel drive. That means you get the base engine, two and a half liter, four cylinder engine. It doesn't have immense power, but it does have two and a half liters, makes 200 horsepower, and it actually has all-wheel drive on this one. It's, it's connected up to an automatic torque converter transmission, which is rare these days. Everybody's going with a CVT, which isn't the best transmission known to mankind, but this is in fact good old fashioned, naturally aspirated with a torque converter transmission, it makes it very reliable. So much in fact, so that we actually bought one of these for ourselves. Not only are these Camrys great cars, from a reliability perspective, you can step this up and get performance too in the three and a half liter V6 engine that belts out almost 300 horsepower, makes it actually very fun to drive. And you can also get that similar torque converter transmission, which makes it reliable, fun, fresh, and very durable. And then of course, the second spot, we have to talk about a Camry as well, but it's the hybrid version. Now we know that Toyota literally owns hybrid technology, not literally, but they're the best at doing hybrid. They're the most reliable, most consistent, most durable, longest lasting in the hybrid space of all manufacturers from my experience. And certainly it is connected up to the CVT, which isn't my personal favorite, but at 87 points out of 100, a lot of people believe the Camry hybrid is the vehicle to own. You get a CVT transmission, which is Toyota's specialty, and they do it better than just about anybody else. And you've got a recipe for one of the most reliable, fun-loving, long-lasting, modern-day four-door sedan. And then here we have the grand prize winner right here with 87 out of 100. This is the vehicle that ranks the highest for overall reliability as well as customer satisfaction. This vehicle has been around since Noah and the Ark. It's been a great vehicle. They've run this for many years and they just constantly slightly refine it. Here we have a four liter V6 engine, five speed automatic transmission, very basic. It's a rough tumble ride. It's not all that refined feeling, but it provides just enough comfort inside and versatility that everybody can find is very useful. Very large capacity in the back here. You can throw all your junk in the trunk. Of course, you've got this great little overhang right here. And of course, love these little tail lights. Beautiful piece. Of course, this one here is a limited, as you can see right there. So you do get extra touches like that. You get some nice color keyed pieces, chrome bits on there, roof rack on top, as well as a little bit of a sunroof action. It's a beautiful vehicle all the way along. And as you cycle to the front, you'll notice it has these big bulbous headlights. Not the prettiest, but it's utilitarian and it works. And what's so great? Well, this is actually not just a unibody SUV. This is basically built on a pickup truck chassis. So in other words, it can bang around and thump and hit the rough roads. And it's not gonna twist itself to shreds. It's gonna take all the rough roads. And then Toyota goes and puts this ultra reliable V6 engine that's been tried and true and used over and over and over and over again and now you have a combination for absolute perfection. If you want reliability to the point of absolute sheer boredom, this might be your bet because it will bore you to tears because you'll never deal with anything other than maybe changing brakes and tires once in a while, possibly the odd oil change, but it is such an easy vehicle to love. You can even tow goodies with it, maybe a trailer, the boat to the lake, and it's just, there's so many things that it does right, and of course, the versatility is all there as well. So. The Toyota 4Runner, the best bang for buck and certainly the most reliable based on consumers reports and I 100% agree. And with all of that said, be sure to check out right there. That is some of the most reliable SUVs for 2024. Hope to see each and every one in the next one. See you real soon. Bye-bye.